Hi everyone, it's Jeff at Brimwood Farm. Uh, we're actually up at the land today, as you can see, and we're going to start the first of the farm projects for 2017. So as you can see behind me, there is loads of bramble thickets. And um, this is the area where we tend to camp when we're having a work party. And over there is the pit. It's the quarry pit and then the main road. And what I want to do is I want to clear all of this away so that we can define a, um, a stock fence, which will start at the end and go all the way around to create this area. And then we'll plant it with uh, single petaled roses to attract wildlife and some herbs and things like that. So I'm going to get started chopping back. So this is what I've done so far, a nice heap there, you can see there's the obvious hole here. Let me take you across to show you what we're hoping to do. So you can see this is where the bank drops away. And down here is a pond, that's not there all year round, that's only there in the winter. I would like to put in a all year round proper pond down there, wildlife pond, um, and fence it off and maybe have some ornamental ducks and things on there as well, which would be lovely. Um, so the point will be that you'll be able to stand along this section with the fence and look over, watch the wildlife, look at the owls, see the rabbits eating on the grass, look at the pond. I do want to put in some uh, more trees over there because that's where the road is. Uh, can you see the car go past? There you go. So if we put some trees in there, we can just block that off a bit. But I've still got quite a lot to go. So I'm going to get chopping. It's the first ladybird of the year. Hello little ladybird. I think this is a seven spot. One, two, three, four, yes. I already have that on my diversity, biodiversity list for the farm. But it's nice to see one. Go and eat aphids, lovely little thing. Now, as well as the stock fencing that was going to hopefully go along the edge there, we're going to clear out all of this. And you can see there's an ancient caravan there. It's been there for about 20 years. Uh, and we're going to clear this. And I want to plant nut trees in here. So things like coarse chestnuts, roasting chestnuts, um, walnuts. So that is another step. And I'm going to be uh, researching nut trees for this year to put in there. Well, I've been at it for a couple of hours and I think you can see that I've done quite a lot. Um, I'm running out of time, but let me show you. So that is what's left, but I've cleared all of this and actually that is a heap. So let's go through here. So I've cleared quite a lot. Now, I've just cleared it and I will have to come back and you can see here, these are the base plants. Um, they will all need digging out. I'm going to do that on another day, but it will be a lot easier to trim it back and then dig them out now that I've cut this thicket back. So I've still got quite a bit to do, but the one thing with land like this is, you think, oh, I'll just go up and clean some brambles. It's not that easy. You suddenly start to realize that there's a hell of a lot. There's a hell of a lot of land and things to do. Um, so before I go, that is my bramble clearing, before I go I'm going to go and take you to the barn because there's some beautiful cows. See it's rather squidgy. Tractors. So here are the cattle. They're um, pedigree shorthorns, beautiful beasts. There is a bull and heifers, so they're pregnant, pregnant cows in here. There's a couple of calves.
Hello. This one's called Ruthie. A lovely little white one. Beautiful cows. That is a little calf over there. There is a tiny calf, but it's hiding away at the moment. I could just watch cows all day. Hello, little calf. So, that is our day on the farm. I've done that cutting back. I'm gonna come back up and do some more work. So it's goodbye from me and the cows, of course, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.